our art, our photography, uh, you name it, uh, uh, the automobile has been central to our culture. My name is John Heitman. I'm alumni chair in humanities and professor of history at the University of Dayton. Uh, it was during my first sabbatical, I got that car there, but it didn't look anything like that when I got it. And I started working on it. The name of the car is Lazarus, because I raised it from the dead. If anything is responsible for my writing the book in some ways, it had to be uh, working on this car from time to time and getting more and more into car culture in many ways. There are other things I've written on, particularly a lot related to the chemical industry in past years. But, you know, the other thing is, is my students typically aren't terribly interested in a whole lot of lectures on Johannes Kepler and elliptical orbits. Okay, uh, but they get really interested in things like James Dean uh, and Bullet and Steve McQueen uh, and even poetry related to the automobile. There was a time, the golden age of the automobile in the 1950s, the 1960s, when cars were really at the center of American cultural life, uh, reflected individuality, status, what you drove told us a lot about what you were. Heaven forbid if your father drove a Rambler uh, or some such other kind of a car. Uh, you were condemned uh, to a lot of unfair criticism on the part of your friends growing up, you know. Uh, but that changed, and I think it changed after 1973 and 1979, after Oil Shock 1, Oil Shock 2. And I think that's when the next generation of Americans began to think of cars more as appliances than as these objects of desire. There may come a time, however, and I, I'm hoping when the automobile industry reorganizes in America uh, over the next couple of years, uh, that we get new styles uh, and we generate a lot more excitement, whether it be an electric motor that propels us uh, or a hybrid system or a hydrogen fuel cell, uh, I'm hoping we go back to that. But there's still lots of people who still see the automobile as something they desire uh, as much as any love object. Sad to say. <laughs>